you know what I got a D in what? at film school? Acting class. No! What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they gave me a D in acting class. Were you, I what? mean, just because, uh, actually, just because I just I did um, 127 hours, and that was in March and April, so I missed a lot of the classes. I did all my work, and I finished my, you know, the film that was required that year, right. but... I didn't show up for acting class. But in acting class, did you have to do something with a partner, like, or? Yeah, it was weird. And what, what, with a, st a student, right? Oh, we had to do a lot of exercises. A I lot mean, of it exercise. was weird. It was weird to be in an acting class. It was class. weird to be in an acting Again, class, right? Because yeah. what were they going to say? I don't think you'll. you'll I think not, it was weird for the teacher. You're not going to really make it. I'm sorry. It's not. Well, no, work no, out no, no, no. It's not that kind of acting. You're like really? No, no, I was in the directing. No, no, I was in the directing program. <laughs> uh, I was in the directing program, so they're teaching directors how to how to direct actors. So the acting teacher gave you a D. Yeah, isn't that weird? I guess he won't be coming to the Oscar party. <laughs> <laughs> he's funny. He um, he's a funny guy. He actually, you're an old New York. I'm an old New York Jew guy. <laughs> so did you ever have any connection to Sanford Meisner or the neighborhood playhouse yeah, sure. or anything like that? Yeah. So this teacher, he's a he's a decent guy, but he um, is in this. I think it's like a six part, seven part. Documentary about, about Sandy Meisner, Meisner. and okay. he's in it as a young, young uh, man. So I, I can go, you can, and he gets railed on by, by Meisner, so uh, you can go and, and watch it. And also, uh, he probably doesn't get people who have already had success coming into his class. I it's mean, not they, like get, a private they get some successful class. people, but, but it, look, it's, yeah. it's a little different. It's weird. I, look, I know it's weird. It's weird for me to be But in, still, in, Yale in, took in, you. Like, Even with the D, Yale took you. Oh, they, yeah, they weren't yeah. looking at They didn't look at those grades. No. You just said, oh, don't worry about it. I mean, look. Yeah. My, all the work I did at NYU, I mean, look, I took the shorts, this, they premiered Sundance Berlin can. Right. I took the, my documentary to South by Southwest. Yeah, and you did sold it well. to Oscilloscope. I sold all the short films. Tale did really well. I couldn't ask for... Uh, yeah. I mean, what else could I ask for? Oh, no, like it's oh, no, we gotta, stream. no, we gotta ask you one question. Did I got you really fall asleep in class. No. Were you just that was in class? Were you closing your eyes? Where was? Oh, that was about, in a seminar. You're talking about that photo. Yes. <clears throat> it's a good photo, by the way. Uh, yeah. Right. So, uh, no, at Columbia. Yeah. I was in the writing program, but in addition, yeah, I would go to what are called. Vows at the art department, visiting okay. artist lectures. Right. They would get incredible artists to come and speak every week. I think it was on Tuesday nights or Wednesday nights. So I'd go, and I could, you know, they allowed me to just sit there and, and listen to these Who great, great artists right? talk. So normally they're held at the art school, which is I think on 125th. Right. And it's kind of small room, and cool. It's you know, it's cool kind of art feeling room. But that night. They had William Kentridge. Oh yeah, he drew a really big crowd. Uh -huh. So they held it in some building on campus. They also held it later than usual, <laughs> <laughs> and I was tired. And I, you know, look, I admit, I I often fall asleep in movies, and, and I often fall asleep when I'm sitting in. I do too. Although I stayed awake in Howl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I stayed awake too. Yeah. Uh, but you fall asleep in movies. But it was this extra thing. It was like ten at night. Right. It wasn't a class. It was me just going because I love art. It wasn't because he's boring or anything. It's just it was late and it was a you know it was a lecture at and, ten o'clock. And once this po photograph surfaced, yeah. were you self-conscious about falling asleep again in public? Yeah, <laughs> I am. I was sleeping on the train today. Uh, coming here on the subway. No, no, no. Oh, on the, the train coming on, into on the, the city. Metro North. Yeah, New Sella Express. Right. And I fell asleep for a little bit, and there was um, there was a nice guy sitting next to me. Yeah. We had a little conversation, but at one point, I wasn't sure if he was. Because he had his he had his iPhone like. Oh yeah. Kind of positioned this way, and he was kind of pretending like he wasn't doing anything, but. Uh -huh. I wasn't sure, so he might have got a shot of me sleeping on the train, but you can say so it's... So if it surfaces, then we'll know. Yeah, you can say, make it look like class or something. That's rough. That's oh, rough. Wait. It's not fair if you can't fall asleep in public. <laughs> Come on. Well, there's a lot of stuff I can't do in public. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, listen, go back. Let's okay. Go back and enjoy. You, that's all you wanted? That's that's good for now. That was well, good. That was good stuff. That was great stuff. Okay. We'll do another one for 127. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Good to see you. And